Hey guys, my partners over at DeWalt have sent me a brand new mag float that they've come out with in 2024. And I'm going to show you how this works on these two patios we're pouring today. Now DeWalt, for 2024, they've come out with a brand new line of concrete tools. So all kinds of these hand tools, as well as some brand new battery operated tools, we'll be showing you in some upcoming videos. Now today what we're doing is we're pouring a 40 by 20 broom finished concrete patio right here on this side of the house. And then on the other side of the house, we've got an entry patio. It's a little bit smaller than this one, so we'll be showing you that one too. And as we're pouring it here and finishing it, I'm going to show you just how this, this new mag float from DeWalt works. So it's the middle of February up here in Maine. It's the middle of the winter. Today is about 30 degrees right here when we're starting out. If you're wondering kind of what that fogginess is, that's actually steam coming off the concrete. So the concrete temperatures right now are about 68 to 70 degrees coming out of the truck. And you know, obviously the air temperature is really cold, so we're working in the steam. What one good thing about having hot concrete like that is it's gonna help set up pretty fast, being it's the middle of the winter. And then another good thing is we're pouring right on top of two inches of styrofoam. So what that'll do is that'll help keep the heat in the concrete a little bit longer versus pouring right on the cold ground itself. And it also helps the frost from getting up underneath the concrete and the concrete heaving eventually. What we do is we got a, we got a chalk line snapped around the perimeter. Uh, this slab slopes about two inches from the house out to the form. Now the mix we're using today, we're using a 3500 PSI mix with fiber mesh. We have water reducer in the concrete so we can pour a pretty loose slump. A little bit of accelerator in it, you know, and obviously the hot water, which most of the concrete companies in Maine that stay open use hot water in their mixes. And they, you know, they shoot when the truck leaves the plant, they shoot for about 70 degrees for concrete temperatures. And then this one had to travel about 30 minutes to get here. so. You know, if it's really cold out, that, that temperature is going to be dropping a little bit inside the drum as they get here. So here I am using my mag float, and what we're doing is we're smoothing out an area in the middle, and then using the laser to get a grade in the middle of the slab, and then we'll use those, what we call, we call these wet pads, but they're really grade pads to screed off from, so to strike our pads off from, you'll see here in a minute. And that's how we maintain the nice even slope from the back of the patio all the way out to the front where the form is. You can see how nice that mag float hangs on my margin trial right there. That's how we carry the mag floats around with us as we're moving and we're working. So what we're doing is we're screeding the concrete now. So it screeds from the right side there up against the house to the middle. That slopes an inch. And then it's going to slope another inch from the middle out to the form. And the reason we're not using a power screed on this today is, you know, when we have something that has quite a bit of slope in it, we like to screed it by hand. That way we know that the slope is perfect and there's no saggage in the concrete at all. So we'll just, you know, grab our hand screed like this and just screed these things by hand. You can see how nice and smooth that mag float is making the concrete. And then I'm using my grade stick. I'm going to have a self-leveling laser set up over there. And, you know, I'm reading the grade from the, the laser to the grade stick. And then making my, my right adjustment to my slope there on my pad. And again, you can see how I mag the concrete just back and forth. I tip it, I tip it in the direction I'm going back and forth and just kind of consolidate the surface of the concrete settles the aggregate a little bit, brings up a little bit of paste, and you can see how nice and smooth that makes it. So I'm striking the pad, that's me there in the middle. Uh, we got one guy kind of bull floating the concrete that's already been screeded. And then another guy is getting the second truck ready now. This is the end of the first truck. And again, just screeding the concrete. The guy raking is Darren, so his job is to make sure that it doesn't build up too high behind the screed, but also he doesn't want to get it low, especially in behind our feet. The way we kick screed, we like to have it a little bit high behind our feet. 
Now, what we're doing here, what we got hired to do is just pour and finish the concrete. We didn't do any of the prep here today. The people we're working for, the people that did the concrete foundations actually came up and did the prep. So they drilled and pinned the rebar on the edges. They set the forms up. They, they tap conned them in to the foundation wall, set them to grade. They put the pins in. They put the kickers in. And right now we're just checking with a string just to make sure the forms are staying straight. They stayed pretty good, actually. Um, they were screwed into the foundation, so we knew they weren't going to move too much. But we just still like to double check and make sure that everything's good. Look at the size of that patio, 40 by 20. I mean, that's, that's the size of a lot of people's homes up here. So again, we'll get this screeded down. We'll bull float it smooth. The truck, concrete truck's moving over to the front pad. And we're gonna go over, we'll show you a little bit about how we poured that and then we'll get into finishing this stuff and you can get to see just what it looks like after we finish it. So we use, when we, when we pour and finish concrete, we use a mag float like this to both pour and finish the concrete. So we use them quite extensively i'm pretty excited about you know getting to use these all right that one pretty good now we'll go over on the other side there's another small one over there a couple big patios today 22 yards 22 yards of concrete i just gotta go grab a small straight edge all right let's go over and check that out it's about it's, i think it's just a little bit above freezing this morning it's around 32 33 34 degrees got a little bit of Spitted some snow last night, so made a little bit of a mess with the roads this morning, but we'll make it. Today's supposed to be almost 40 today. And then the rest of the week, next to this is a Friday, the you know, the weekend and the rest of the week. It is supposed to get a little chilly, but they'll have to figure out a way to keep this protected. Using our new, using our new Dewalt mags today. So we got brand new mags. Got a bunch of brand new hand tools. Dewalt came out with a whole line of concrete tools for us. So just breaking in these mags today, they're working pretty good. So as you see me smoothing out the concrete right there, you can see just a little back and forth action, back and forth, back and forth, and with the right slump, where you know it smooths it out pretty nice. We all, you know, when we screed, we like to mag our always mag our edges. So we mag up against the wall like that to a chalk line and then it's always nice to have the form top of the form set to top of slab so you can mag right off the top of the form and then screed right off the top of the form like Darren's doing right now if if the form sets higher then you got to snap a chalk line on it and then you're screeding down inside the form and I don't know it's not it's, it's a little bit harder it's not that much harder but it's just a lot easier to pour when the form is set to grade not to mention it's a lot easier to finish too the concrete especially if you're broom finishing so you can kind of run that broom right up over the form as you as you pull it across the surface we had to go get a little bit longer screed for this this was about 14 feet and that's the longest screed we have is a 14 foot magnesium one like that as far as hand screeds go um, and that's just that's how we screed it so we get a nice slope from back to front we screed it all the way down to one end and then we just turn it and come out with a little one like this and that gets you your your perfect slope on your boom finish patio like that and then you know smooth out the smooth out the screed marks with the bull float and then you're going to be ready to finish. All right, so that went in good. One, one major thing, we didn't run out of concrete, though. That thing was pretty thick. Probably averaged at least six inches in the middle, eight inches on the edges. So we'll get this finished up, pour, and then we'll, I think we're going to have a little time to wait around before we got to start finishing. Just room finish today. So it's about quarter of nine in the morning right now. I think we started pouring 7.20ish, so something like that. So it's, that feels like, even though the concrete's really hot, you can see the steam coming out of it. And we got a little accelerator in there. I think we're gonna be at least an hour before we start finishing this. So we'll, 
we'll check back with you when we start finishing and we'll go from there guys so what I've done right here is I've just cut a joint in off of that corner of the foundation and then I cut one in on the other side too there's one on the left that you can't see right this minute we just we didn't want to we're gonna come back and saw joints in this because the concrete's just gonna be so green we won't be able to get them in today so we'll come back tomorrow saw the joints in but I wanted to get one off those corners right there in case it did want to crack overnight it's going to crack right there so that's going to kind of help ensure it doesn't crack there before we get back all right i'll mag out i'll probably have to mag that again but we're going to go over and check that first pad see how that's doing a lot of times we have to mag them twice you know first one kind of first one kind of gets everything broke in pretty good gets the mag gets the bull float lines out gets everything sealed up good then when but it's still a little too a little too soft to broom yet so if you want to kind of like a medium to fine broom finish you gotta let it cure up a little bit longer buzz over it again uh, we'll see what happens over here so the way we do our broom finishes here in maine is you know we have to deal with air entrainment in our concrete because of Free, a lot of gets a lot these things go through a lot of freezing and thawing so they inject these tiny little microscopic air bubbles in the concrete that's called air entrainment and we don't want to steel trowel the concrete here when we're finishing it when on at least the exterior concrete sometimes steel troweling it will seal off the surface and you might you might seal in some moisture you might seal in some air and that causes a little blister or a bubble down the road so we like to keep the surface as open as possible, even though we're booming it. We'll mag float it twice. Um, so we'll mag float it once, you know, to get all the bull float lines out, just, you know, work up some pace, get it nice and smooth. And then if that's, you know, we'll try brooming it if we think it might be close. So we'll broom finish the concrete. If we don't like the looks of the broom finish after the first time we mag float it, if it's a little too rough, then we'll just let it set up a little bit more and we'll go over it again and mag float it again, you know, whether it's 15 minutes later or 30 minutes later, depending on kind of what the temperature is, if we're out in the sun, we'll just mag float it twice and then that gets it really nice and tight and it doesn't, it leaves the surface open, it doesn't seal it off. And we found that these DeWalt mag floats worked really, really good on both times that we magged it out, so we were really happy with them. And then, you know, once we get it mag floated the second time, the guy comes right behind you with a broom and you get a really nice, like fine to medium broom finish. That looks really good. All right, so first pad's done. That's about 800 square feet. Let's go get the second one done. This is a little bit less than half that. Setting up pretty good on us though. It's about 11, 1130 in the morning right now. What we're dealing with a little bit is this water, this water kind of melting off the top slab, getting onto the bottom. So can't wait any longer. They'll be covered with water. So we got to get it, got to get it broomed now. So here we are. We've magged this thing twice. Darren's putting the finished broom on it. It's looking really good. We're really happy with the way the broom looks. I don't know if you guys noticed, but you see those yellow gloves I'm wearing? Those are DeWalt gloves too. I personally, I like to wear gloves when I work in concrete, when I'm pouring and when I'm finishing. I like a glove that's comfortable, that fits good, that's tight. And these were these were really good. I got these actually when they, when they invited me to Key Largo, Florida down for when they were first inviting me to be a brand ambassador. They kind of gave me a goodie bag and these gloves were in the goodie bag. So I'm going to see if we can get some more from them so the whole crew can have these gloves. I think that we'll all really like them. I would highly recommend getting those gloves if you are a glove wearer like I am. So Darren's just finishing up the broom marks, making sure everything looks nice. All right, two patios done in the middle of the winter. Central Maine, we got about, I don't know, six or eight inches of snow up here. That's how you do it right there. So they'll wait. The general contractor will wait about four or five hours. He'll send a couple guys up here to cover that with blankets. Got to be real careful covering that so you don't smudge it or scratch it or anything like that. And then they'll, we'll be back tomorrow to saw cut some more joints in it. But for today, that's going to do it. So we really like these DeWalt mags. They worked really, really good. We're looking forward to using them and the other hand tools they have, the hand trials, the groovers, the edgers. Got some good use out of them today. I'll have a link for these down in the description if you want to check them out. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.